Hi, I'm Greg Abel with Avenue. This time of year, November, December, everybody starts telling me that they're waiting for spring, summer to sell a house. Why is that? Why does everybody want to wait through the holidays for the spring? Well, it's a perception in the market that spring and summer is the best time to sell a home. But is that true? Is that a real thing? So today I'm going to walk around the office. We're going to talk to a couple agents. We're going to look at some data and try to find out the actual best month to sell a house according to the real data. Quick, what month is the best time to list and sell a home? January. Quick, what month is the best time to list and sell a home? December. Right now. What's the best month to list and sell a home? December. 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 <laughs> uh, right now. June. Now I wanted to look at Parkway and Rockwood School District, so you could call this West County, and I wanted to look at homes over 100,000, not new construction. And over the past five years, you're going to see this blue line here and the red line. So that's number of new listings coming on the market and the actual sales of the homes um, coming off the market. So there's only a few points, and this does show that real estate is extremely seasonal, but you'll notice the inventory spikes here with only sales being here. So every summer and spring, there's a huge gap between the number of new listings coming on the market and the number that actually sell. There's only one time where this number flips, and that is right here, and what we're talking about December, November, December, January. In the winter months, the number of sales is actually more than the number of new listings coming on. So there's only one time of year where you have the best odds to list and sell a house, and that turns out to be November, December sometimes going into January. Numbers over the past five years, you're gonna see the number of sales in this column, the number of new listings coming on the market in this column, and the ratio of sales to new listings. So if you take 129 divided by 391, that's 30% of the new listings sold. So there's only one time you're gonna see, once or twice a year, you're gonna see this get into the triple digits. So in December 2012, 140%. As we go to December 2013, 168%. December 2014, 158%. December 2015, 153%. December 2016, 140%. So after looking at everything and looking at that data, it sounds like November, December is the best month, correct? So why does everybody wait? Well, some of the reasons might be it's hard to find a home to move into. If you're selling one house and trying to move to another, it's going to be hard to find one if inventories are that low. But if you're building a new home or you're being relocated, don't wait till spring or summer. Statistically, November, December is the best month by far to sell a house. Your odds of selling are the greatest. So if you think about selling a house or you just want to look at your individual market, see what the stats are for your neighborhood and price point, give me a call. One, myself or my team would be happy to help you. If we don't hear from you, we wish you the happy holidays, a great winter, and maybe we will talk to you in the spring. Thanks. Best price is probably in the summer because there's a hotter market, but uh, you can sell it faster. Dude, don't put this on there. You gotta prepare me for this. Delete this right now. No.